Hey guys, this is Jason at Full Spectrum Power. I'm going to take a few minutes today to explain the differences between uh, our race batteries versus our street batteries. And for this example, I'm using our P10S. So these batteries look entirely similar on the surface. Um, you know, they use the same case, the same terminals, and the same cell pack. So what is the difference and why are they different? Well, so uh, first, the difference is this. This is our street battery, has a full battery management system. Um, the use for this is if you've got a bike that is a street bike, uh, this battery management system, this circuit board, provides a number of protections that are meant to um, protect both the battery and the bike in the event of some sort of a malfunction. Well, so what are those things? Uh, what protections are they? Well, one is an overvoltage. Uh, in this case, imagine your regulator rectifier fails and sends 21 volts to the battery, the battery will shut down and prevent you know, some sort of catastrophic damage. Uh, there's also an undervoltage, and that means that if you, you know, leave your lights on or have some other sort of parasitic drain, in this case, when our battery gets down to around 15% capacity, the battery shuts itself off. Um, that's especially helpful uh, when you want to use our IPT boost feature, this blue button here, to restart your bike uh, without having to use a battery charger. Um, and, and so, uh, you know, those are the kind of major uh, protection circuits that are included in a battery management system um, that really may not be useful on a race bike, right? On a race bike, we use a much more simplified version of the circuit board. If you can see it here, this primarily does cell balancing. And we have a, a number of different versions of this that do this differently depending on, you know, what bike it's going in, how powerful the cell pack is, so on and so forth. Well, why would you use this as opposed to this? That's a really good question. And so the answer is pretty simple. Uh, you'll remember that when I talked about the street battery management system, the low voltage cutoff occurs at about 15% capacity. That means that there is 15% of the battery left when the battery turns itself off. That's really great on the street. That might be not, uh, not wanted or good in a race application. As an example, if you're running a, a total loss ignition system, no charging system, you want to be able to have access to every last bit of power in that battery, and that's why we use this. Um, this does not cut off the power uh, under any circumstances. So, um, you know, you're running, say, American Flat Track, and uh, you've got a 25 minute main event, you know, with all of the red flags and whatever else, um, and you're going to need every last bit of capacity in, in order to finish the race with a running motorcycle, that probably would not be possible on our street battery because the battery would shut itself down to protect itself. Uh, the race battery, um, ideally suited for that. Another use case for this, drag racing. Um, remember I mentioned that our street product had over voltage protection. Well, that's really great if you're running a single battery on a street bike. Well, a lot of drag race guys run 24 volt start, meaning that they have one primary battery and then they have a small battery to trigger a 24 volt event to start, you know, more quickly. Well, the over voltage protection in the battery management system will prevent this battery from being used in a 24 volt start application. This battery, our race battery, doesn't have that issue so if you are running A, a total loss system, or B, a 24 volt start system, you absolutely want to use the race version of this battery. 
So that should give you a fairly good idea of the two types of battery that we prepare here. It, you know, please note that every single battery that we have, and I think at this point there are 42 of them, can be built with either one of these circuit boards. Both our street and race products are compatible with most commercially available uh, lithium specific chargers. There's you know any number of them on the market now that are you know made by SeaTech and Optimate and uh, you know, Battery Tender. Um, we have our our pacemaker charger as well as our CV2. There's Noco has a a lithium version, and I'm sure there are others. Um, both our race and our street version are compatible with all of the lithium battery chargers which we have tested here at the shop. I would assume that there are many more chargers on the market that I did not mention previously. We have not tested everything. We do not plan on testing everything. As a general rule, uh, these things do work and they are all compatible with this. If you are you know, unsure about whether your particular charger works, please feel free to call one of us here at the shop or send an email or a message through social media and you know we'll be happy to to try and point you in the right direction um, but back to my original point was that charging one of these batteries whether it has our battery management system or our race management system um, you can use the same charger and you know those are always available at fullspectrumpower.com words um, if you have a special need, um, you can always call us and we're happy to explain this to you in more detail and try and consult with you to make this choice a little bit easier if this video is in any way unclear. There is also an article on our blog, which is linked below, that goes further into explaining how this works and why we do this. Thanks.